the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, we are being called to rejoice because Emmanuel is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. My name is Dorothy Atire Sonko, and I'm very happy to be with you, dear children, with our friends from Osambia Parish. They are here to animate us in today's Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent. Children, we humble ourselves and we pray. Yes, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for protecting us and guiding us. God, please protect and guide us through this program to which we are going to present now. Our Father, Lord, in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us as it's in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Blessed are you among women, and blessed with the foot of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be work without end. Saint Cecilia, Saint Cecilia, Saint Maria Goretti, in the name of the Father, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear children, welcome to Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. My name is Namashika Makrina Winifred. We are here to celebrate the second Sunday of Advent. My name is Nanyondo Maria Desire, and I'm here to share the meaning of Advent. Advent is the season when you wait for the birth of, Je of Jesus Christ. As we wait for the birth of Jesus Christ, we need to pray to the Lord, read the Bible, and listen to the Gospel. Edward, and I have come to share with you the good news of Jesus. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face. Who shall prepare your way? The voice of one crying in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. 
And there went out to him all the country of Judea and all the people of Jerusalem. And they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit, the gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, what have you learned from the gospel? I have learned that to receive God in my life, I should repent. I have learned to help one another like John the Baptist. I have learned to love one another like John the Baptist. God the Father, he has prayed. prayer for the church. We pray for the church leaders beginning with the Pope, bishops, priests, and all the clergy that they may continually seek and be blessed with God's wisdom and guidance. We pray to the Lord. prayer for the country leaders. We pray for the country leaders in Uganda that there may be love of God's law in among all Ugandans. We also pray for a better world that all nations living in freedom may respect their human rights everywhere. We pray to the Lord. A prayer for peace. We pray for peace to reign in our families and the world at large. We also pray for the young and the unborn that they may always be respected. We pray to the Lord. A prayer for the communities. We pray for all the communities, such as schools among others, that there may be God's protection and unity. For communities under tension, selflessness, and domestic violence, 
May gentleness and patience dwell in people's hearts and guide them along paths of charity and understanding. We pray to the Lord. for the youth and children. We pray for the youth that they may always make right decisions in their life. We also pray for all the children to acquire basic education and continue to grow in God's grace. Lord, we pray. A prayer for the afflicted. We pray for the lame, the blind, the orphans, the sick or suffering, the homeless, that they may know the loving touch of Christ in their lives. We pray to the Lord. In silence, let each one of us present his or her prayers to the Lord. Lord, we pray. It's been so beautiful that we have prayed together with our friends, children, friends of Jesus from Mosambia Parish. And as they have told us that we should love one another, we are going to see how some of the children went to visit their fellow children at St. Daniel Comboni Children's Home. It is a home that welcomes children from the street. They take care of them. They counsel them, they ha rehabilitate them. And also they make them enjoy their childhood. They make them discover that God loves them and everyone loves them. And so we are just going to have that beautiful experience of a small Christmas party where we had cake, we drank soda. Please enjoy with us. And children out there, please try to do something for your fellow children. Our call as children is loving, caring, and sharing. Children helping fellow children. Imagine if we help one another by putting a smile on each one's face. It would be so beautiful. God loves us when we are happy, when we are smiling. As you can see, we are smiling, we are happy. Yeah. So, children, it's always good that we come here to pray together. We thank our dear parents for allowing you children to participate in the program. We thank you, the liturgy teachers. We thank you, the catechists, for always preparing the children. And also, our dear priests, who always let us participate in the activities and also the guidance, the counsel that you give us to make this program better and better. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television, Good News for All, and always participate in the Children's Liturgy Program where our faith grows. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye bye, dear children. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. Bye.